Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Ani once again here from the banks of the Trinity River and working on mixed media collage number 37. This image is awesome. I have loved this image for a very long time. It's a boy with an owl on his head with spread wings and I've wanted to use it, like I said, for forever and found it in my stash. I'm like, oh yeah, that'd be awesome to put in the book. And the saying that I chose said, the best dreams happen when you're awake. So what I did was I went through and found a piece of painted, I think that's chipboard, and it needed just a little bit of touch up of paint there down at the bottom. I really liked the colors that were in this, kind of the blues and the copper and the, the gold. And um, here I'm just bringing in a little bit more blue because, you know, you gotta have blue in it. <laughs> if it doesn't have blue, it's not a proper piece of art, right? I, you would think that in my universe, it's kind of funny. Anyway, I decided that I was going to put this whole um, little image together as my focal and here I'm just adding a little bit of white to kind of brighten it up and give it a little bit of variety. Just fixing the colors. Okay, so I decide I like that and now I'm taking my Mod Podge and I'm going down my awesome image because it's truly awesome. It is. And you know, the best dreams do happen when you're awake. And uh, I think a lot of us kind of wait for the big moments. And life is very few big moments. It, really, you have to rejoice in those smaller moments, moments of glory. Uh, and, and you have to stop and you have to look at something like even just your family gathering or your dog swimming in the river and it being a beautiful day or sitting in your garden and you, you have to stop and you have to look at the world and say this is a good moment it's, it's the tiny moments that count it truly is so I did take archival ink around the edges of the saying and um, I did that because I knew I was going to use Mod Podge so as soon as you use uh, something like um, you know, a water soluble ink is going to move as soon as you put Mod Podge over the top of it because it's liquid. So you need to definitely uh, be cognizant of that as you're working and use permanent ink when needed. So here I found a deli sheet that really goes well with the colors that are in that board. So I really decided to accentuate the vintage feel of the image and uh, you know the board behind it I had put that brighter blue on so here I'm kind of contrasting it with um, a, a brownie color. Now it's kind of a bummer that I'm covering up that whole background. That background was cool but honestly uh, those really bright backgrounds are, are just kind of not my thing and I figured I could make something better out of it this way. So this is all deli sheets, a uh, painted deli sheet. So a deli sheet is exactly that. It's something that you would get wrapped, your sandwich wrapped in. Uh, it's a lightweight paper that has a wax coating on one side. You can pick them up pretty cheap at um, on Amazon and they do last forever uh, it's like $12 for a box of 500 it's it's a great deal so you don't need to have a jelly press to make a deli sheet you can use a brayer um, whatever but I love using these lightweight transparent um, it's transparent if you don't have super thick paint on. This particular deli sheet has very thick paint on it, so that's why. I am going through and edging it with my Timber Brown Stays On right off the bat before I put down the image because, well, you know, if you can 
do it faster and not risk getting um, the ink on your image why wouldn't you do it, it just makes sense and now we are taking our Fabri-Tac to glue down this piece of chipboard. We're using Fabri-Tac because it's a heavier piece of paper. And we are centering this to the best of our ability. It's going a little bit towards the, um, the edges that have the rounded corner because I knew I was going to put my binding on the other side. So it's not exactly center, but when you're looking through the book, it does feel like it's center. Okay. Um, oh, hey, then I grab out my liquid pearls. Tim Holtz liquid pearls, Rangers. They're pretty darn cool. It's an, um, it's a paint that kind of stays kind of puffy and uh, metallic paint. And I just wanted to bring that blue into the uh, image just a little bit here. It's very helpful if you move your piece of artwork. D don't think that just be, that you have to work on your piece of artwork as it's sitting right in front of you. Move it so that you can have, you know, access it the best way possible. And then do I do some, I, I looked at it, looked at it, looked at it. And then I think I decided that it needed it underneath and up top just to kind of give it a cool border. And I thought that would be appropriate for this piece of art. Well, we're coming up to the end here. So I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. I love you bunches and thank you for your support. Please subscribe. Bye bye.